Hello, so we have an iPhone 13, I think it is. It says it's not starting. So let's first uh, connect the charging. You can see here the charger behavior. So you can see it's uh, jumping to something. I can't really tell. Yeah, 78 milliamps, then goes back down. 78, goes back down. So this... Uh, points to a short, so let's uh, open it. is connected to the PSU, the PSU is the one on the left, I'm pouring it on, so I get an instant 4 amp drop. So this is a main short. Um, okay, let's, um, let's remove the foam. Hitting up, I assume it's gonna be around here. Yeah, so it's all hitting up here. There is no problem in that area, but here. So we're gonna have to split the boards, unfortunately. gonna sizzle here okay so you see that cap there and that cap is bad let's try to remove it Done. Cap was removed. Let's see. Okay, power supply connected. Oh no, no, we still have on 1.7 amp. <laughs> so there is something more here. Not only that cap, something else is broken I 
Okay, so it's that amplifier. Let's take also the um, thermal camera. Just want to get a better view on what's going on there. Then we're gonna look at the schematic. See what's going on. Okay. So let's see what else. That is interesting. So the area where the cap was is still glowing no there is another cap no so exactly the area where the cap was that's amazing can it be on the other side Switch the board. So let's look closer. Is that coil? No. I think it's on the other side, under the shield. Yep. So I think it was... Let's see what cap have we removed. So let me get the iPhone 13 schematic. is a bit slow all right let's rotate it right cool so we have removed this cap here that was on the main and now we get hit in the same this is the touch boost coil <laughs> and if we look on the other side now we have the charging I see What do we have on the VDD mainline now? If we measure it, look at the multimeter on the upper right corner. Point oh three seven. So there is a short there. Can it be at fault? Maybe this one at fault. I really cannot tell if it's the coil lighting up. Let's try again. I 
that lights up forest. No, it's not the coil, it's on the other side. <laughs> yeah, let's see how we can remove this. I need to break this shield. We didn't even have to separate the boards. I'm gonna force it in now just to break. the solder <laughs> I need my power tool. There it is. Okay. Now gently, gently, gently. So let's see what's, what hits up here. If we can still see something, because if I add this crap connector, it's gonna cover everything. Yeah. Where's the plus here? Okay, so the plus is on the outside. Let's try things different. Let me put a minus on this post here, if I can, somehow. Okay, and we're gonna get a plus from here, and we're gonna get a thermal camera with the left hand, and let's see how we can manage it. Okay, start the supply. My 
background disconnected one second. Let me try another angle like that maybe. Okay, so it's the chip itself that is getting hot. Alright, so let's freaking remove that chip. Let's put the board in a board holder. And let's see if the issue is from that chip or it's something else and all the current that is passing through it it's dissipating on there so we're gonna use like 380 and give it a blast I'm gonna remove the chip and I'm gonna measure the VDD line and see if it's still extremely low. So, which one is any of these points here? Or VDD main? But this uh, no, which is the main, this is the main, right, so it's like this, and let's measure now the main, so we have a main on these caps here, point two, yeah, so the chip was damaged, good. So let's solder another chip. I think this was our initial problem. It was on the cap below. And I think we could have gotten away without removing the boards. Ah, but that's life. Now we can't do any more anything about it. I'm gonna replace this solder with uh, 148. Feels so brittle. like this. It's really weird. Okay, let's uh, wake them. Let's wake them pads. So either the board is cooked or I don't understand. Look at that solder, how it gets. It's extremely weird. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. 
Why is it acting like that? I really don't know. Unless the board was really, really cooked there. And that feels extremely weird. Let me get a different tip. And try again to replace that solder. See how it looks, it's like rugged. Let me add some more solder. Again, I'm using 148. Okay, this does something. I now have uh, nice and shiny balls, and they don't seem that rug rugged anymore. Okay. It's like squeaking noise. Interesting. Let's try to wake it again. See how it remains. Let me add some solder on the tip. It's like rough. It's like a rough surface. I think those pads have boiled. To be honest, I've never seen something like that. Alright, let me search for a donor board that we could grab the chip off. about its contents, only about this chip here, 
Alright. So let's take it. So let me prepare some uh, solder paste as I don't have. Let's search for the stencil. Phone 14, 12, 13. Good. So, which one is it? Is it this one here? Yeah, this one. It's extremely filthy. Let me clean it. And we're gonna make the balls now with 330 30R. Mm. 
Yeah. Let me clean the stencil. So we have prepared, we have it prepared for the next job. It's easier to clean when it's uh, still warm. Alright, I'm gonna add some flux here. It's a bit too much. And now I'm gonna reflow it. Good. Balls are nice and shiny. And let's return to our board. I already have a lot of uh, flux, so I'm not gonna put much. It's already too much, I think. But uh, there is already a lot of flux on the... On the chip. Where is the... It's here, right? I can't see well. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so apparently I lost a part in here. Here, there was something. We're gonna look and see whatever was. We're gonna fix it if needed. If it's just a cap. And then we're not gonna fix it in this episode. So the chip is now in place. I saw it move. See, we can bump it. And it bumps. Cool, so let's see what the freaking hell is that one. That one is a cap, right? One, two. Unfortunately, I think we need that one because it's the only one in this world. Damn it. Let's try something there. Some 183 solder paste. Let me get a smaller tip. This is the ground. I need some assistive heat here. a donor. Alright, let's grab the cap from there. Okay. 
Okay, and it's solder back in place. Good. air pump and pump just to cool off the board a bit let's use a microfiber cloth just to clean up a bit the area not too much because I don't want to spread the flux on the connectors we're gonna properly clean it afterwards now let's connect the power supply and see how it looks like okay power supply connected on perfect so we just had a blimp there the 53 million blimp that's coming from the nfc i think so let me prompt it to boot here good so we see a nice boot behavior Right, the phone is booting with no issues. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it now. Um, and uh, now we need to consider what now I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload the board, so let's proceed. You're worse, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Shit. Tell me that I can't, and I won't. That's what guides me the most. You lies, I'll do what I want. Because I'm interested to see if we have Wi-Fi and uh, uh, how is it called IMEI. I'm not happy with the way uh, they soldered. Okay, I'll connect that one. Let me power on the supply. Okay, no short. At first glance, so far on. This powering on. 
I have a Apple logo. Let me see if I can make you see also. Yeah. Let me see what was the code. Passcode. So I think uh, this is it. Uh, let's put it back in the case and uh, let's see if uh, the charging works because the charging goes through that I see that we had to replace. So I was looking again into this and um, we didn't uh, split the boards for nothing because actually that cap that we originally removed was the culprit so that was the first issue that went out on the main line uh, the cap went out and then it broke also the IC that was passing all the voltage you saw when the cap on the, was on the board we had like 4 amps consumption and uh, afterwards when we removed it uh, it went down to 1.7 amps charging as you can see here we've got charging current it's also booting okay and we don't have service yet yeah we have service let me call it That's me. It's set to silent. Hello? 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 Yeah, so, all is good. That was it. Thank you for watching. I wish you have a nice day. Like and subscribe if you didn't already. Bye.